What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when I drop new videos. In this video today, what we're gonna talk about and deal with is how to draft dispute letters using ChatGPT. The reason why we're doing this is because ChatGPT is a new artificial AI technology that is making things a whole lot easier, especially when it comes to documents and creating certain type of documents. They have other implications as well, but for us with credit repair, we're gonna use ChatGPT to create fast dispute letters and unique dispute letters. This way you're not using template letters that have been used by thousands of people already and that the credit bureaus might mark as frivolous or irrelevant. So without further ado, and let's get into it. What's going on guys? So I wanted to show you how to dispute your credit report using ChatGPT. Um, we're going to dispute just this one account for now. This is a collection account uh, that's reported with two bureaus. And what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to use ChatGPT to create the dispute letter for this particular account. So the first thing we want to do is identify anything that may be um, inaccurate, incomplete or unverifiable with this account, because what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to use this particular law, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now, I just want to go through this really quickly so we can establish why we're doing this. Right. So if we check out this particular section, Section E, Compliance Procedures. So Section B deals with accuracy of reports. So it says whenever a consumer reporting agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedures to assure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. So this is why we're looking for things that may be inaccurate on the report, because according to the law, it has to be maximally accurate, right? The maximum possible accuracy here, right? Not the minimum, not somewhat, not kind of, but the maximum possible accuracy. So again, that's why we look for those things. Now, let's take a look at this particular section, section I, which deals with the procedure in case of the disputed accuracy, right? So this is what they're supposed to do in case we dispute the accuracy of the credit report, right? So this particular section says, if the completeness or accuracy of any item of information contained in a consumer file at a consumer reporting agency is disputed by the consumer and the consumer notifies the agency directly or indirectly through a reseller of such dispute, the agency shall free of charge conduct a reasonable investigation to determine whether the disputed information is inaccurate and record the current status of the disputed information or delete the item from the file of the consumer in accordance with paragraph five. So let's see what paragraph five says, and then we'll go into disputing this particular account. So treatment of inaccurate or unverifiable information. If after any reinvestigation under paragraph one of any information disputed by a consumer, an item of the information is found to be inaccurate or incomplete or cannot be verified, the consumer reporting agency shall promptly delete that item of information from the file of the consumer or modify that item, blah, 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 right? So this is where we use this particular method to get items deleted from the credit report, but we have to dispute them a certain type of way in accordance with the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So with this particular account, let's find out what's incomplete or inaccurate about the account, right? So um, normally with these type of accounts, a collection account should never report open and it never should report a past due amount. It's not reporting open and it's not reporting a past due amount. So the next thing we wanna look at is anything with the dates. So if we look at some of these dates, right, um, from the date open, right, we have two different dates, right, February 17th and February 1st. Then for the last reported, we have June 4th and then we have May 1st, right? Those are two different months um, as well. And then for the date last active, we have the same thing. So the date last active and the date last reported, they're reporting the two the same dates but inaccurately with both with both bureaus which is what i would use to dispute this account as the inaccuracy as opposed to the date open because the date open they're pretty close in proximity as far as the months are concerned so we want to go with something that's more drastically um you know uh, inaccurate so we're going to go with the um, date last active right so we're going to take this information that we've just found that the date last active is reporting inaccurate with this account and then we're going to put that in the chat GPT and allow chat GPT to format the dispute letter for us. Right. And we can also include more than one account. But like I said, with this 
particular demonstration, we're just going to do one account. On the next video, we'll do multiple accounts because most people have multiple accounts report with their credit uh, on their credit report. That's wrong. So we want to, you know, take care of that as well for you guys. So let's go to over to chat GPT. We're just going to open up a new chat and you can either set up a free account or you can pay for one. I have a, pay, a paid one because I use it so much. I don't like it running slow and telling me that I can't use it. So what we're going to do is in chat gpt once you set up the account you're going to put a command in there asking chat gpt to put the dispute letter together for you and then we're going to input the information as we want it to be written on the actual dispute letter so we're going to start off and we're going to ask chat gpt to act as a consumer and create a dispute letter to um transunion and i believe that's equifax now you could put the addresses in here for transunion and equifax and it will probably format it with the addresses on there for you but because i'm using two bureaus at the same time i'm not going to put any addresses because you can always copy the body of the um text that chat gpt spits out for you and then transfer it to like a word document or something and you can put the addresses you can edit it a little bit if you want but you want to we want to use this because it's a faster way to put the letter together in a more unique way to do so that's not a template right which is what we want to avoid we want to avoid the letters being marked as template letters because then they'll get marked as frivolous or irrelevant and it'll you know kind of disrupt the dispute process so we're going to act as a consumer and create a dispute letter to TransUnion and Equifax to delete a collection account, right? Now, this is where we're going to go back to the actual credit report and we're going to get the name of the collection company and we're going to put that into ChatGPT, right? Then we're going to get the account number we're gonna paste that in there all right so act as a consumer create a dispute letter to transunion and equifax to delete a collection account that is inaccurate the reporting two different dates of last activity then we're going to put parentheses transunion right and then we're going to put the date that transunion is reporting because we want to be as specific as possible so that the bureaus can't say that we haven't provided enough information to do you know perform a proper dispute because a lot of times people will just you know they'll just put um you know this this account is reporting inaccurately investigate and delete but you haven't given the bureaus anything to really investigate and they're not obligated to do do so according to the law if you don't right so now we're just going to copy the date that equifax is reporting now we're going to go back and we're going to put equifax and we're going to put the date that equifax is reporting right um in violation of the law you know it's put um include the fact that this account is negatively impacting my ability to qualify for new credit what we say impacting my good name oh, I put good, good good name I can't spell it all character and ability to qualify for new credit I also have reason to believe that the furniture is an unreliable source right we use in specific language that it was really specific language that i use and my team uses to put our dispute letters together um that is pulled from consumer case law right where it's you know been noted that you have to you know uh, 
gonna kind of say these certain things to indicate to the bureau um, certain other things about the account, right? And it just helps get the accounts removed because you remember you're disputing against eOscar, which is an automated computer system. It's just scan reading the letters, and what it's scan reading it for is certain terms, keywords, and things like that. Um, whether it's either going to mark it as frivolous or send it, you know, further through the dispute process or through the dispute flow. So let's read it over it just to make sure that it's, you know, we got everything we want to include as far as the language is concerned. And we'll, you know, hit, you know, enter and see what chat GPT spits out. So it says act as a consumer to create oh, and create a dispute letter to TransUnion and Equifax to delete a collection account. We got the name, the number of the collection account that is inaccurately reporting two different dates of last activity. And we put, we included the dates in violation of the we'll put fair uh, of let's we'll just say federal law oh let's say the fair credit reporting act the fair credit reporting act <clears throat> include the fact that this account is negatively impacting my good name character and ability to qualify new credit um we'll say as well as as well as my belief that the furnisher is an unreliable source. All right. So now let's hit enter and see what chat GPT spits out as far as the letter is concerned. So dear TransUnion and Equifax, I'm writing to dispute the accuracy of information contained in my credit report regarding in regards to the collection account put the name and number according to my credit report this account has two different dates of last activity transunion reports this while equifax reports this this is a clear violation of the fair credit reporting act this inaccurate report is negatively impacting my good name character and ability to qualify for new credit as a consumer I'm, i have a right to accurate and fair reporting of my credit history and this discrepancy is creating an unfair and inaccurate representation of my credit worthiness furthermore i believe that the furnisher of this information is an unreliable source their inconsistent reporting raises serious questions about their accuracy and reliability and i request that you investigate this matter thoroughly i have formally requested that you remove this account from my credit report due to the inaccurate and unreliable reporting please provide me with a written confirmation of the deletion and update my credit report or copy of my credit report thank you for your prompt act attention to this matter sincerely your name so you can see how chat gpt actually puts together a really well written letter like i really couldn't have put that letter together better myself i don't think anybody could have to be honest and that's what um separates chat gpt and learning how to do this process from you know using template letters or anything else so if you're interested in learning this process make sure you click the link that's in the description to sign up for my free master class make sure you take advantage of my ebooks and any courses or um things that i have also that's on my website that can help you right we got template letters we got e-guides we got ebooks um and everything else as well as uh, join my mentorship program right my mentorship academy and you can learn this technique and plenty more make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one